Hello again, this is Boogers Tastes Like Chicken, and there has been a recent problem with Source Mod, and I think this is happening with a lot of people, because I have been asked for any advice or troubleshooting, troubleshooting advice in general on how to fix this issue. And what tends to happen is that when people lo host their local server games, their games just suddenly crash and there's no error logged for it, there's no indication as to what's causing it to crash or any way of telling, and I am making this video to uh, tell you how to fix this problem and tell you what's actually happening. So what happened was that SourceMod released an update, an auto update without people knowing, and all it does is that it updates the game data files. That's the only thing that changes from when they auto update the source mod pack that you have. And the game data files that are provided with the pack are the ones that you're gonna need in order to enable a uh, source mod. So that's all that they're updating. And they, ga they basically gave us game data files that end up crashing Left 4 Dead 2 games. I'm not sure if it crashes any other source mod games, but as far as I can tell, it's just been Left 4 Dead. And um, the solution to this was to roll back the game data file versions from two versions ago, I think. They're not too old of game data files that I use to help fix my servers, because I also had this issue. And um, I also had to turn off auto updates. So it was a bit of an annoying process to get through. But once we finally figured it out and I asked some people around, I finally figured out that there's an actually very easy fix to this. So if you're one of the people who have been having issues of your game crashing before it even finishes loading, or maybe if it does finish loading it just crashes immediately, I have created a source mod pack assuming that you've downloaded the one before that can fix that issue and I can tell you how to install it. But if you want to speed through this, it's basically the same process as downloading the source mod pack that I provided earlier. <clears throat> so basically, you just download it, extract it like last time, go into here, and you'll notice that there's only one file for add-ons, source mod, and then there's a configs here, and a game data files. The game data files that you need that are actually working. But this file right here, I'd like to explain to you that this basically just helps you turn off and disable the auto update so that we so that you won't get hit with like new game data files that end up not working like last time. So as you can see this parameter right here, I set it to yes to block the auto updater. It, it is normally defaulted to no. So I'm going to change that in the source mod pack in the other video that I uh, released as well. So once I go ahead and do that, um, hopefully there won't be any more issues with the source mod pack. But basically just the same process, I could show it to you again if you don't remember. You just browse your local files, you go into Left 4 Dead 2 add-ons, and basically go through it here as well, and you'll see source mod and source mod. Drag and drop, very easy. And then it's going to ask you to replace the files in the destination you want. To replace the files in a destination so that you can get the game data files that you need and it'll implement the config file that i gave to you so you don't have to go into your files and disable uh, auto update yourself i've done that for you in the fix but yeah this should allegedly fix the crashing issue with um the game data files there's been like a lot of people who had this which is why i made a video on it so hopefully this will help um, any crashing issues that you've had recently because it's been a huge issue.